Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a loop which you can also use during a live performance. So, let me get started. It kind of will look like this when you open a new project. So, I'm just going to close this because you don't need that for now. All you need is go into loops because we're going to use inspiration from loops. So, you want to go and we're going to type in synth at the top. It will then give you all the options you can have. Um, bear in mind, to have access to listen to these loops, you have to have them downloaded. That's why some of them are grayed out and have this icon next to it. So you want to kind of look through them and make sure that they, the one that you want appeals to you and sounds very nice. Okay, so I found the sound that I want to use, so I'm going to click on it and then drag it out. And drag it, at the, drag it into a track which does not have anything in it yet. It will create its own track for you. And then I have put on a loop which you basically drag out. So basically you just drag a loop and you can turn it on there or just press on it. So this is how it sounds like. I'm going to close this and I'm going to press double test on the audio. And then I'm going to go here. This is flex and you want to turn it on. And you press turn on. And then you want to go here and press on flex pitch. It will then show you the pitches. So I have noticed from this sound, I like it. Just, I don't think it needs the octave jump, so I'm gonna. What you can, the beauty of this is you can take what you want. I'm gonna take these. This is on an F. I'm gonna drag it down to this F, and this is how it will sound like. The reason why it can sound kind of off is because it's not that important how it sounds, like. it's well comes out of it really is the important part. So I really like that sound. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to drag it out slightly so it's two bar. Uh, so it's two bars, uh, four, eight bars. So it can loop so I can add some drums. So I'm going to go back to the upper loops and I'm going to press in kick. Let's find a kick that fits with me. So I chose this festival kick. It sounds really nice and I can cut it up. So I'm just going to drag it into a new track. And I'm going to go into it. I don't need to flex pitch on this one because it's not a pitch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this and I'm going to actually shorten it. I'm actually going to cut it what next kick starts pressing command T thing is and then I'm gonna drag it out and then drag it and then press option and I go do that again press option and I go on option <laughs> go to drums here and I'm gonna find a like shuffle kind of I'm gonna find something I like don't forget to save your product project while you're working on it okay so I found the kick I want it's called thigh kick beats I'm gonna drag that in let's just listen to it So 
smells really nice. So now I need hi hat. I'm gonna find what I like. I kinda like the sound, so I'm gonna take get pumper toppers. Put it in and then loop it. This is how it sounds. <laughs> So now that I have the drums in, so I can now have to add the melody to this higher one. So I'm going to create a new MIDI region and then just extend it there. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to use this flex to find the pitches I want to use. So I'll be right back. end up using a external keyboard which I plugged in or so if I turn this off this is how it sounds like so I added my own twist to this sound as well this is how it sounds individually <laughs> So this is how it sounds with everything else. I need to find a sound now for this instrument, so I'm gonna press here and I'm gonna go to synth because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a synth and I'm gonna go to pad. Okay, so I end up choosing for soft square lead, is what the instrument's called. It kind of gives you that feel, so I chose that song. is like chords so I'm gonna add chords now these chords are basically based off what I have here is I want to change the sound as well so I'm gonna go into synth again now I'm gonna go into pads so all together it sounds like this all I'm missing now is the bass line so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the root notes of this chord here and I'm going to put it into a bass. Okay, so these are the root notes and now I'm going to go into... I'm going to go to bass there, get a synth bass. 
Okay, so I found, found a base, so I chose Deep Wave Bass because it sounds really nice. So I rearranged all the audio that I had and I came up with this. <laughs> 